Thank you so much for joining in. We're live here in my office and the Intelligence Committee has just released the FISA memo that over 60 of my colleagues joined me in calling for a release earlier uh, last week. And it's very important that we go through the substance of this and why it's important. Here is essentially what happened. The Democratic National Committee gave money to the Perkins Law Firm. The Perkins Law Firm then paid the company Fusion GPS. Fusion GPS then hired Nellie Orr, the wife of Bruce Orr, who is a senior official at the Justice Department, and they hired Christopher Steele. Christopher Steele then went and wrote this fake dossier. Then Bruce Orr, the spouse of Nellie Orr, who has a background in anti-narcotics and the anti-drug agenda at the Department of Justice, he all of a sudden inexplicably starts meeting with Glenn Simpson and Christopher Steele, and he then valets this fake dossier, paid for it by the Democratic Committee, into the Department of Justice. The Department of Justice and the FBI then used the fake dossier as a basis for a FISA warrant to spy on American citizens. And the reason you know that is because Andrew McCabe, the former deputy director of the FBI, the same Andrew McCabe whose wife got $700,000 from the closest allies to the Clinton family, Andrew McCabe testifies that there would never have been a FISA warrant but for the dossier. That the dossier is the cause of the FISA warrant. That is from Andrew McCabe, no friend of Donald Trump. So then the FISA warrant is, is in process. It's being sought. To validate the fake dossier, the Department of Justice and FBI use an article written by Mr. Isakoff of Yahoo News to be the validating information for the dossier. What's the problem with that? Christopher Steele was the very person who planted the article with Yahoo News. So you've got a fake dossier, paid for by the Democratic Party, served into the process by the spouse of someone hired functionally by the Democratic Party, and then validated by a news article planted by the very author of the dossier. It's outrageous, but it gets worse from there. The FBI then learns that Mr. Steele has been leaking information to the media. So despite the fact that the FBI had authorized payment to Christopher Steele, they then don't render payment to Christopher Steele. Now, do they go and alert the court that that has happened? Absolutely not. The FISA warrant has to be reauthorized every 90 days. And it is reauthorized multiple times with the signatures on it of the senior officials at the Department of Justice, all based on a lie all based on completely false information that has to be validated by the authors of the originally false information. That's what's so outrageous about this. Not only the original lies and the original application of this FISA warrant, but the reauthorizations and the proof that this entire narrative is built on a rotten foundation. So in the coming days and weeks, we're gonna be seeking to exercise our oversight authority. And Democrats will continue to do what they've always done, Attack Chairman Devin Nunes, attack me, attack those of us who are trying to get information in front of the American people about the basis of these claims. But we're going to keep telling the truth because this is rotten and this can never happen again in the United States of America. You'll be hearing from me soon. Thanks for tuning in.